All right, so I'm gonna do a live example here. Once you click the sign up link, you'll see right here, you enter your first name, last name, email, password. Then you'll get an email confirmation. You go check your email, click the confirmation and complete the sign up process. From there, you just log in. Save your password. Then we're gonna get to the 2FA authentication. So you go go download your app. This is what it's gonna look like. Then you're gonna have six digit numbers right here once you set it up. So you can open your Google Authenticator app and scan this code. You can scan this code or you could press enter code manually and you will get a number that you enter in your Google Authenticator app. After that is completed, you'll see that FXWay is now in your Google Authenticator app as an addition. And then you'll see six digit codes being renewed every 30 seconds. You will take that six digit code and you will enter it right here where it says enter token from Authenticator app. You enter that six digit code. So here I'm going to do a $1,000 demo account. Majority of people that fund your account, they go from either $500 to $1,000. So here I'm going to do a $1,000 demo account. Right up top, you see where it says complete your KYC document. This is your ID that you will need to upload to make sure that is you. This is a procedure that needs to be done when it comes to all brokers. Just to identify and make sure the person is who they say they are. Alright, so next step, we download the MetaTrader 4. This is where we take our actual trades. Now I'll show you how to set that up. Alright, so right here, I already have my wife account that's live that I just did earlier. So I deposited $1,500 in her live account so she could start making money live with us. The OBG, of course. So now I'm doing my son now. So I'm going to set up his demo account. So now you get check your email. You're going to get the credentials, the username, and password. All you do is go into your MT4, go right here to account, press the plus sign. You want to add a new account, so you're going to log, log in to an existing account. So you're going to press where it says Fine Broker, FX Way, FX Way. And you're going to do demo, right? Because it's a demo for my son. Very simple. So now you just enter the login details that was given into your email. From there, you just sign in. All right, so there you have it. Now you have $1,000. That's what I wanted. I want to keep it realistic. $1,000 demo for my wife. As you see right there, it says live and demo. My wife, she has a live account, fifteen hundred. My son, he has a demo account, one thousand. All right. So from here now, we're gonna add our pairs. From here, very important to add your pairs that we're trading um, live with OBG. So we click over right here. We see these two arrows going different directions. These are the pairs that you already have. So these are already here for you. So you press this plus sign, plus sign. All right. So first, let's start with the pro pairs. So what pro pairs mean is you get a better spread. Super important. So let's start with the pro pairs. So we're going to add all of these. Odd USD, Euro USD, GBP USD, NZD USD, USD CAD, USD Chef, USD JPY. Boom. So once you add all of them, it automatically closes because there's no more pairs to add. Let's go to our pro cross pairs now. So boom, we're just going to add all of them. All right, from here, let's go futures real quick. So we add the dollar, the dollar index. We're going to add it. Let's go to cryptos, BTC, USD, Bitcoin, USD, right? Add it. Let's add our Ethereum, USD, add it. So now you can close crypto. So let's go to, let's add metals, All right? So we have the gold versus USD. We got silver. Let's get up out of that now. What else we have? Energies, U.S. oil, right? If you want to trade oil, boom. 
indexes. So we got the NAS 100. We got the US 30, of course. We got S&P 500. And that's it. We finished. We done added all our pairs right now. So let's go back to our list. And you're going to see all of these. So now let's delete some of these right now. Let's delete the odd USD. These are the ones that were already here. Let's delete those. So click this pencil bar right here. And let's delete these. Press the trash. So one, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. Everything that's not a pro pair, I'm deleting. So I'm going to leave all the pro pairs here. You see all the pro pairs. I'm going to leave those. So that's it. You come over here to the right, press the trash can. Boom. And that's it. Now you're good to trade. Now you come here. These are all your pairs right here. And you're good to go. You're good to trade with the team. When we make that call out, click on the button and execute. Now, when it comes down to taking a trade, very simple. We're going to do your USD, for example. Click on it. New order. So once you see the call out, this is your lot size. Depending on your account, you want to have a certain range for your lot size. Your lot size determines how much you're actually betting or wagering on each trade. So your lot size is pretty much how much you're risking. So now let's cover lot size and value. Now, a micro lot looks like a penny order size. Each point that you gain in your favor equals 10 cents in profits. A mini lot looks like a 10 cent position, right? Each point that you are in profits is $1, okay? A full standard lot, which looks like a dollar, okay? Each point that you have in profits equals $10, okay? And 10 full standard lots looks like a $10 position each point in your favor equals $100. So, of course, the more money that you have in the markets, the more potential you are able to make by dollar amount. So, here's an example. This price on the Euro USD pair moved up 10 pips. So, you can see the exchange rate is over here, okay? 1.17058. Then, over here, you see 1.17158. So, this is 10 pips, okay? There's 10 pips in profit. If you enter the buy trade on a full standard lot, that would have made you $100. All right? Not including spreads, okay? If you enter the buy trade on a mini lot, you know, the one that like 10 cents, that would have made you 10 bucks. If you enter the trade on a micro lot, which looks like a penny, you would have made $1. So a huge difference as far as your power is concerned, depending on your account size. So if we have place to sell, okay, same scenario, all right, 10 pips, okay, and guess what? If you would have entered a sell on a full standard lot, would have been 100, so on and so forth. Market execution just means you're taking a trade what for what it is right now in the market. So if it's at 500 right now, and they tell you take the trade right now for a buy or for a sell, that means you're just taking a trade where it's at right now in the market. So what that means is currently the trade is at um, a higher place in the market. So if you want to buy at 500, currently the trade is at, let's say, 550. So you're waiting when you put the buy order or the buy limit. You're waiting. The price comes down. Price comes down. You already have it set. So once the price comes down to 500, your trade is then executed. And now you're live in that trade. So that's what the buy limit means. Buy limit means it's coming from top a higher number let's say 550 and once it reaches your 500 which you place the trade for to set automatically to be taken once it hits that 500 you're into the trade and you expect it to go up so you expect the trade to go up so that's the buy limit buy stop is completely the opposite now so the trade is coming from down let's say you still have you set your buy stop for 500 and the trade is coming from 450 and it's going up it's going up and we think of it like a bus stop it's going to stop at 500 pick you up now you're live in a trade your trade has been executed and you expect the trade to continue to go up so from 450 it comes up picks you up at 500 and continues to go up in that direction because you did a buy now we do sell limit sell limit is just the opposite of the buy limit so all that means is 
We're still doing the 500 ex as an example. So the 500, so you're at 450 and you're coming up to 500. That's where the trade is executed. And now you expect the trade to go down. So 450, get to 500, pick you up. And now you expect the trade to go down. So that's a sell limit. Sell stop now, similar as the buy stop, that's the opposite way. So 500 is our base entry again. And the trade is coming from 550 from above. Once it gets to 500, it picks you up and you expect the trade to continue to go down. So that's your sell stop. Market. So we see a stop loss. Let's say we're doing market execution. Right now we're taking the trade and they tell you to put your stop loss. Right here, the red, this is where you will put your stop loss right here in the red. The green is your take profit. SL means stop loss. TP means take profit. Simply all that means is your stop loss is like your safety net pretty much. So that means is if you're losing a trade, if you expect the trade to go up in a buy and all of a sudden it shoots down, shoots down, shoots down, it gets to a point where you say, you know what? I don't want the trade to go any further. I don't want to lose no more money at this point. So once it gets to that point and we're going to use 500 again, let's say you did the buy at 500 and now you put your stop loss at 400. So every time the trade shoots down from 500 and shoots down, that means you're losing, you're losing money in this current trade. So let's say now you're minus 50 and you're getting to the 400 mark and you put a stop loss at 400. So if it hits 400, that means the trade will close automatically. And then let's say you're minus $60 at that point. That means minus 60 will be taken from your account. And the good thing about setting up a stop loss means you know if you hit that certain point, this is how much you're going to lose. You won't lose any more. Compared to not having a stop loss, and let's say it goes from 500 down to 100, and now you just lost $300. So that's the importance of having a stop loss. Take profit now, just the opposite. We're going to use 500 again as an example. So you set 500, you enter the market, and you want your take profit to be 700. So that means you set your stop loss at 400, you take profit at 700. Now you could go cook, clean, work, whatever. You don't have to worry about it no more. Once it hits 700 for your take profit, and let's say you're $100 in profit, once it hits 700, your trade will close automatically and you will take that 100 in profit. So that's all that means. Take profit means you're taking the profit when it hits this number. So that's just the difference. Stop loss, take profit. And that's pretty much how you enter your trades. That's how you um, set in your stop loss, take profit. And it's that simple. The more you guys put in these trades, the more you'll get it. And if there's any questions, feel free to contact me or any of the other OBG leaders. All right, y'all. Take care.